Hey folks, John Hennessy here from Henco Water Jet Supply. Thanks for joining us for this video on how and when to replace your mixing chamber in your Precision Core Diamond Cutting Head. One of the unique features of the Henco Diamond Cutting Heads versus the competition is the ability to inspect, remove, and replace the carbide mixing chamber below the diamond orifice. Our diamond heads are intentionally non-integrated for this reason. Alright, so to begin, let's review the components of the diamond cutting heads from Henco. In this cutaway, you can see the diamond orifice. Below the diamond is the mixing chamber, which directly butts up against the top of the nozzle. The reason diamond orifices fail is from abrasive eroding from the bottom upwards, which is why the carbide mixing chambers are designed the way they are. You'll notice the mixing chambers have a small 30 thousandths through hole. They also feature an angled shelf to direct abrasive back towards the top of the nozzle, minimizing wear on the bottom of the orifice. Even with this design, the mixing chamber will wear over time. At Henco, we suggest customers remove the diamond about every 600 hours for inspection and ultrasonic cleaning. This is also time we advise folks to replace the mixing chamber to maximize the life of your diamond. The top hole of the mixing chamber should not exceed 60 thousandths of an inch. You can also inspect the bottom side of the orifice for additional wear. To remove the old mixing chamber, remove the cutting head and bring to a clean workspace. Begin by loosening the set screw on the side of the cutting head body. Next, use an old nozzle or a 275 diameter gauge pin and place in the bottom of the cutting head until it meets the mixing chamber. Push down on the body to remove the diamond orifice and the mixing chamber through the top side of the cutting head. Okay, to install the new mixing chamber, place the diamond orifice trainer back in the cutting head and hold down with your finger. Then slide the new mixing chamber into the cutting head from the bottom side. Be sure to align the abrasive inlet of the mixing chamber with the inlet of the cutting head body. Push the mixing chamber up into the body with the abrasive nozzle until it meets the orifice retainer. Use the wrench to align the abrasive inlet. Tighten the set screw to locks mixing chamber in place. All right, folks, that should do it. You should be able to go ahead and put the cutting head back on the machine. If you have any questions or comments, as always, give us a call, 1-833-4HENCO.